all the worlds a stage. And all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. Then the whining schoolboy, with satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwilling to school. Then the lover, sighing like furnace, with a woeful bow that made to his mistress's eyebrow. <laughs> then the soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the parlor, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bold reputation even in the cannon's mouth. Then the justice, in fair round belly, good cape and mind, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances. And so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into lean and slivered pantaloon, with spectacles on nose and couch on the side. His youthful home is well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shame. His big, manly voice turning at him towards childish trouble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all, the end is strange, eventful. 